Hello beautiful people, another video from me. It's again um, time for philosophy. This time we talk about 24 elements. It's a very vast subject, very interesting subject. Um, I have learned about this from this book here. Um, where we go here? The Srimad Bhagavatam, third canto. And it is from a conversation between Kapila Muni and his mother Devahuti. And it is from the chapter 26 which says the fundamental principles of nature and um, there is the 24 elements of material nature described um, these are here the 24 elements i made a diagram and these are four subtle elements this is the mahatattva the ahankara the buddhi and manas that is means like it's the creative intelligence the basic consciousness um, which is not different from the consciousness from the living entity but it is not the topic here and then the false ego means uh, which makes us identify with this world then we have buddhi the intelligence which is about um, discrimination power and then the mind which is the container of our desires mind accepts and rejects so these are four subtle elements then um, it has ten se senses five working senses and five knowledge acquiring senses i will not list them here they're not relevant for this topic but there are 10 and then we have another 10 here this is um, the five sense objects and the five elements yes these are um, ether air fire water earth and the sense objects are sound touch form taste and smell and um, this is uh, Um, <clears throat> I want to bring this into relation to the com current events and also it is kind of a side note to my previous video where we were discussing about that the tenth house, the natural tenth house which is Capricorn, the tenth sign from Aries, uh, is ruled by Saturn and the tenth house is like the government and that says that Saturn rules gives power to the government that that says means that the common people they give power to the government and i want to discuss about that from the um in the light of these 24 elements of this sankhya philosophy this is by the way called sankhya philosophy which was um taught by kapila dev all right and um <clears throat> what it says that why why the Jupiter, Saturn is a significator for the common man and he rules Capricorn which is the natural tenth house which is government and that means that all ruling power always comes from the people so this is the astrological in astrological language is that Saturn rules the natural tenth house so this is the astrological language and translated it is that the government, the power to govern over the people always comes from the people. And that is even true in, the, in, a, in a monarchy or in a dictatorship. Unless the, 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 the ruler cannot have a certain amount of people on their side and of their support, he cannot stay in power. So and I would like to um, express this in terms of this creation, if you're interested. Uh, to know this whole process of creation as it is explained in the Srimad Bhagavatam and in relation to these 24 elements in detail, if you want to know it in detail uh, let me know in the comments I can make one time a video it will be quite a very technical video it will be right, quite a long video because it's a very fast subject but um, yeah, let me know if you are interested but we are going to see just we're looking just at this this one step here in this regard. So what is said here is that um, um, in the subtle state we have this false ego, we have the mind, and uh, what is created out of this or um, it evolves is sound, and sound is not so much the sound we hear for music and you. I'm you. I'm not talking to you in in terms of sound. But it is more about a convey of an idea. I mean, even like the, con the sound in this sense also could be somebody who is deaf and who is just reading a book. He's also um, 
taking sound to himself. I mean, he's also on this level of sound. So sound is more of like, more like like an idea, a thought. That is the meaning of shabda. It's not sound on the gross level, but which we hear, but it is a sound of a conveying of an idea. So that is also described in the book that the, the characteristics of sound is that it conveys the idea of an object and it says that someone is there who conveys it. That is sound. And that is the first thing that was there. So therefore it's also said in the Bible that in the beginning there was the word. I believe in English it's like that. At least in German they say like that. So in the beginning there was the sound. And that sound was not just a, a sound like a noise, but it was, it was an idea. It was... Um, which conveyed a meaning and which also conveys that someone is there who speaks. Okay, and that sounds then creates the ether. That means as soon as the idea is there, then uh, the, the space, the field of action is created and that is the ether. So the characteristics of the ether as described in the book is that it is um, the, the field of action for all our psychological uh, activities which we were discussing in the last video sort of psychological activities and um, <clears throat> and also the life air exactly the life air so the prana chi in, in, in the Chinese prana in the Vedic or the life air in the English which um, keeps our body running um, that is working on the level of the ether and then from the ether in the interaction of of the idea conveying an idea and the field of action comes then start things start to become more materialized and the first thing that happens is they become tangible touch is coming and the touch stand then gives rise to the air element and the air element then um, is the element that it is described, the, the characteristic of the element is that it uh, brings, allows the connection between the senses and the sense organs. Means through the medium of air, the light is coming to us, to our eyes. Through the medium of air, the sound comes to our ears. Through the medium of air, we get the smell. Through the medium of air, um, Tastes are coming to our taste spots also. Also water, of course, but air is also plays also a role there. So all right. So but what I want to say is that <clears throat> whatever and it, it then continues manifesting um, down towards down. It becomes more. It becomes tangible by touch. It becomes tangible by form. Then it gets dimension, form, and dimension. Then it gets taste, and then it gets smell. And then we are with the earth element. And full, mani full manifestation in the gross material world, tangible objects are there. But before something can um, tangibly manifest in the world, it first has to be in this subtle stage. It first comes from, from, from our thought. So whatever manifests in the world fir first is in the mind. If someone wants to build a house, before the house is built, he has to talk about it. He has to, means sound, and he has to think about it. And then he has to convey that, that ideas he has to the architect. The architect has to convey to the, to the construction workers. And they then start to manifest it. So whatever happens, it always happens here first. So coming back to the, that the, the power of government comes from the people, that means what is in the mind of the people that will manifest. So there is a, one YouTuber I like to listen to. He always says, he always ends that we, he always, <clears throat> um, it's in German by the way, so I cannot share it here. But he always ends by saying that we cannot manifest in the world what is not within us. So that's the point. And therefore, more or less, the government we have and the circumstances we face is always uh, a result of what we are inside. So that if we want to have a better world, we have to become better people. It's simple as that. If our inside is good, our outside will become good. If our inside is garbage, our outside will become garbage. And um, if now a, a significant amount of people have garbage inside, we will have a significant amount of garbage outside. 
And <clears throat> by the way, astrologically also, these elements are ruled by different planets, like the ether element by Jupiter, the wind element by Saturn. And the, it is very much uh, emphasized also in the Srimad Bhagavatam that all these manifestation processes, they always uh, happen by higher authority. So they, ha they happen by the higher authority of the, the planets, so to say. So, the, so therefore also in astrology we can see what type of car will be manifested in you because they are the authority that, um, that allow this manifestation or don't allow. If Saturn is there and says no, you cannot get that, that means he doesn't allow to manifest things out of this air element, so to say. Just as an interesting side note. So, <clears throat> but uh, I would like to end this video in a very positive note saying that uh, since I hear it from many sources or many different people I hear saying personally I met and also on, on, this, on the internet are reporting how people become really more nice, more spiritual, more, uh, more conscious, the, the, the consciousness is rising in general. That means that in general the ether element will become more better, will become more pure. And since the people will become more conscious, it's a sure thing that things will turn out better. So it seems that, that at the moment we are in a, in a period of, of our of, of history where we are really experiencing a rise of consciousness and all these turbulences we are experiencing now, I believe it's more like a, it's like a detox from this um, ch change of, of paradigm. And since, since the mind of the people becomes more conscious and people become more loving, become more, uh, if you remember this, don't w watch the last video, become more free human beings, not so much conditioned human beings, they become more resistant, resistant to to propaganda and mind control, so-called mind control. Um, we are looking into a bright future. All right, so um, I'm optimistic for the future and I hope you are also. And the science says that since people are waking up, since pe people become more nice in their mind, we can also expect in the near future better conditions for everyone. So I send much love to everyone who is watching this. Thank you very much for your attention. Really sorry I cannot make these videos more nice in this terms of sound and video quality and also presentation is all a bit all over the place. But it takes, uh, I mean, just to prepare this topic, it took me like two weeks of study and like three hours of of uh, putting these things together, or no, not three hours, maybe two hours. So, um, time will come, I will make better videos, but for now this should be, this format is just, just right for me. All right. Thank you very so much for listening, see you.